Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and today we're taking out the airbag control module on this Chevy Silverado. These are the tools that you're gonna need for the Chevy Silverado. I have my power drill here. I have a flathead. I have a little tool here. You don't have to use exactly this tool. Anything with a thin flat edge will do just fine. I have my large socket wrench here with a 15 millimeter, a 10 millimeter. And for the seat belts, you're gonna need a T20 bit. Now the first and most important step is to disconnect the battery first. Anytime we work with the airbag system, whether it's the airbag, the seat belt, or the airbag module, we want to make sure there's no power going into the car. So right here is the battery. We want to start by taking this case off right here. And that kind of just pops and slides right off. You're going to want to take your 10 millimeter socket right here and start with the negative right in there. We're going to loosen up that little nut right there. We're going to wiggle this out and just put it completely to the side so there's no chance of that coming back in and making contact. We're going to do the same thing on the positive side right here. This little nut right over here, we're going to just loosen up. Once you have it loosened up, you can just start sliding this and wiggling it back and forth. And you can get it out of the way. And actually, I would put something that's non-conductive, like a rag or even a rubber glove. Just put it right over that contact right there. Just because this seems like it's pretty short and it could slide back. So I'm going to put it all the way to the side. And I'm going to put something on top of here that's non-conductive. That way, while we're working on the airbag system, there's no way that that can come back and make contact with that connection. We're in the back seat, and we want to access this part first. This plastic cover right here, we want to remove. I'm using this tool here, but you can use anything that has a nice thin edge to it, like a flathead screwdriver, and you can just go ahead and start working at the bottom part here. You can just go in and start working it up and out just like that. That will pop right off. Right in here, you'll see a bolt and that bolt is gonna be removed using a 15 millimeter socket. And there's our first one and we have the second one, right on this side over here. And we have two more up front, but the back is all set. It's all loose, ready to go. So up in the front passenger seat, I'm gonna do the same thing right here. 15 millimeter. And there's the third. Let's go to the driver's side and do the same thing. And one tip with these, if it doesn't come out very easily at the very end, a magnet is a great tool to go ahead and just take it out. Just like that. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars, plus you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, 
Programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw a trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. All right, so at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and move this center console right up. I've got all four bolts out. I'm gonna grab it by the front here and just pull up just like this. And it could actually just stay right there. I don't have to remove anything else. The module, if you come in a little bit closer, the module is located right over here. This black plastic part here with the levers here with the plugs in front. The yellow plugs indicate that that's the airbag module right there. Now before we remove the airbag module, it's really important to stop right here and make sure that the battery is disconnected. There's no power going to the module. If the module was powered up and we started removing the bolts right here and we had it lifted up and moving in a way that's not in a flat way as it's designed to be in right now, the module will think that the car is flipping over or moving in an unsafe manner and therefore it would deploy pretty much everything from the seat belts, the airbags, the roof airbags. So we don't want that to happen. We want to make sure the battery is disconnected. And then we want to make sure we remove the plugs first and then go ahead and unbolt the three nuts that are holding it down right there. Same thing goes for when you reinstall it, no battery power. Then go ahead and bolt it down nice and flat all the way. Then put in the plugs into the module. And then you can go ahead and power up the car once it's flat and sitting as designed. All right, so first thing we're going to do, there's these red tabs on the side right here. Right on the side here, right in front of the levers. We're going to go ahead and pull them towards the front of the car like that. And then that will release the lever. You can then pull the lever down just like that that's the first one same thing on the second one right in front of the lever here there's a red little tab that you want to pull just like that there's actually a little button in front of the lever as well you want to push that and then pull the lever over and that will release the harness just like that now that we have those disconnected i'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the three bolts. And there we have it. That's the airbag module right there. If you're looking for the part number, it's that eight digit number. Those first four are small, and then the last four are bigger, but the whole thing is the part number. If your car was in an accident and your dealership is telling you to replace it, you can do that. That's the more expensive option. Here at My Airbags, since 2006, we've been resetting these airbag modules so you can actually reuse them after an accident. Instead of buying expensive replacements at the dealership, you can go ahead and send it to myairbags.com. You can just package it up pretty lightly, put it in a nice tight box where it's not moving around, along with your name, address, phone number, email address, and you can go to myairbags.com to place the order. Now, we also do the seatbelts. On this car, both front seatbelts deploy. You can send in the two front seatbelts in along with your module and get it reset and rebuilt all in one shot. Let's take a look at the seatbelts. Now, if you flip cars or you're a rebuilder, you already know that on these cars, the seatbelts do deploy, they lock up sometimes, or they throw a code letting you know that you need to replace them. On this car, we have a dual stage seatbelt, meaning there's two parts to deploy. Now, if you come down right over here, I'll show you how to get into the side pillar here. And we're gonna start by actually working on this foot panel right down here. So we're gonna start on this panel first. We're gonna loosen that up so we can get to the panel that sits underneath it, which is the side panel. 
and you can actually use a flathead screwdriver like this or a flat bar to get right underneath. I'm just gonna use my fingers to get between the carpeting and the panel and kind of lift up. You'll hear some popping noises and that's normal. That's just some tabs popping up. Once that's up like this, the other part going to the side is now free. So we're gonna lift that up and then continue with this piece here. I'm gonna start working that. And kind of work up the side here. And come on in over here. You can see those are the tabs right there that we're targeting. There was one right there, there's another one. And now that that's pretty loose there, we're gonna go to the back and do the rest. And in the back seat, you wanna do the same thing. Just remove this, it comes off pretty easily. There's some plastic tabs there that hold it down. And you wanna continue working the side here. Just kinda of pull it up. And as you can see, nothing is damaged. It was just these tabs right here, holding it down to the side pillar. All right, so here we have the main pretensioner unit. It's this whole thing right here, and the seatbelt comes up and out of it. This part here, it connects to the side pillar. This is one part that deploys. Actually, the part that deploys is right over here in this tube area, and it's this yellow plug that you wanna disconnect. Of course, after the battery is disconnected, you wanna disconnect that, and then to remove it, you can Go ahead and take up this bolt over here and then this bolt over here and just so you don't lose them after you take out the pretensioner unit i recommend that you go ahead and put these bolts right back into the pillar that way while it's getting rebuilt at myairbags.com you can go ahead and keep them there and once it comes back you know where they are you can put the seat belt right back into place without any lost bolts so this is just one part that deploys this is just one plug right here the other yellow plug and the other part that deploys is at the end of this belt here and it's right in the seat. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so that's the main pretensioner, but in order to go into the anchor tensioner right here, you're going to want to get your T20, your T20 bit right here. And you want to go ahead and just put it into a, a driver or a power drill. And this little indentation right here is where the little screw is and you can use that T20 to get right in there. So that T20 screw that we took out was right behind this piece here. It was in the back area right over here. Uh, you want to go ahead and continue removing this part all the way down. I'm just going to briefly show you how it's set up. Uh, if you come right down here and we look right under here. Without taking this apart, you can see there's this long cylinder black tube that runs across right to the front. There's a sticker right there, and it kind of ends right about here. That long cylinder shaped tube is the second part of the seatbelt pretensioner. It deploys, and it also has a yellow plug. And that plug is right in here, and it's yellow. You can kind of see it if you come in here. It's that orange and yellow plug right in there. It kind of looks just like the one that we saw on the pillar. That's the other part that deploys right there. So after you remove this panel here, you'll see a lot more clearly, but that's another plug here that you want to remove. Unplug and remove this part of the belt and send it in along with the rest of the belt as well. We can get both of these parts done at a bundle price while they're here. So you can send in your module, we can reset the module, rebuild the seat belts all together at one shot. And to complete your order, just go to myairbags.com and click on services. And on there, you can add the dual stage seat belts and the module to your cart and check out. Put the confirmation right in the box with your parts. And within 24 hours of receiving it, my airbags will ship them right back out to you with a confirmation and a tracking number and we'll get these right back to you so you can go ahead and 
get these back into your car. Instead of buying new at the dealership, you can save time and money using our service. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.